Yep, I was wrong about the Surface Book 3, but not the way you think. Hey guys, Thunder E here, and first off, I just want to apologize because I made big mistakes in my Surface Book 3 review, which a lot of you guys pointed out. I want to thank you guys for actually pointing that out. It helps keep me honest, uh, make better videos for you, so I do appreciate that. Not angry, not pissed. I actually like the fact that you guys do that, so I definitely appreciate it. But I made some mistakes on my Surface Book 3 review. Now, my thoughts about the device is still around the same, but these mistakes are quite key. So one of them was, of course, with uh, my game benchmarks for Tomb Raider, Shadow of the Tomb Raider. I had on screen benchmarks from my Ryzen 3 build. Don't know how that happened. I apologize for that. Uh, but, you know, that kind of gives you different light and tells you a different story than what you're hearing from me as opposed to what you're seeing on screen. So, um, also, I had, uh, some, uh, had some interesting benchmarks also for Grand Theft Auto uh, 5, which, again, a few of you pointed out. Uh, and it makes sense for me to just redo this review for you so you get a better idea of how well this device is. So I'm shooting and capturing everything off, cam off screen, so which means you're gonna see the device, you're gonna see the benchmarks, you're gonna see those numbers for those games in question. So let's start off with what this device is. I'm talking about the brand new Surface Book 3. It's the latest Surface Book from Microsoft. Uh, this is the 15 inch uh, variant that I have, which sports a 4K display, uh, 10 uh, finger touch, uh, multi-touch display, pixel sense display, running the new Intel uh, 10th gen Core i7 processor. It's a quad core processor. You've also got the Nvidia 1660 Ti Max-Q, which as you know, we're gonna put through the benches for gaming, which is what you guys care about here watching this video. Now storage goes from 256 to either two terabytes. You do have two USB uh, type A ports as well as also one USB type C port. Uh, and then you've got the surface connector, you've got a headphone jack on the top, um, and um, you've also got, I believe, an SD card reader. Now, this thing weighs about 4.2 pounds, uh, and uh, when you detach, which of course it can do, uh, the tablet side, it weighs about 1.8. Now, there are a bunch of things you can do with the Surface. It's got a really nice keyboard, probably one of the best keyboards and trackpads and a great display, especially if you're using it for touch. Uh, so you've got great typing experience, backlit keyboard, all that fun stuff. But the main thing is gaming. Now, as I mentioned earlier, I messed up on Tomb Raider with the benchmark. So here are the benchmarks for Shadow of the Tomb Raider here running on the Surface uh, Book 3. Might I add, I also got some updates on the system itself on Windows, as well as my drivers. Uh, I'm stuck using studio drivers. I just have to point that out. Uh, quite effectively, I tried to switch over to game drivers. It did not switch over. I could not get an update for it. I got an update for my studio drivers. That being said, let's start off with the benchmarks for uh, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, where you can see that this thing uh, really does a really good job, um, and you can see the range and skill of what you're getting with this. And when we go at the end to see the full benchmark numbers, again, this is at 1080p. Um, so we drop the resolution down to that because it makes sense for the GPU that we have here. Uh, we get an average of about 71 frames per second, which is higher than even the Ryzen 3 that I showcase. So again, I'm so sorry, guys. Uh, but when you're playing this, it plays pretty smooth and well, uh, and you can have a great gaming experience playing Shadow of the Tomb Raider on uh, the Surface Book 3. Now, moving on to Grand Theft Auto 5. Now, the benchmarks for this show a wide range. Uh, you can go as low as uh, a 58 uh, a frames per second, all the way to about 100 and something, depending on where you are within the game and the landscapes and things like that. When you get into actual gameplay, I was fluctuating between uh, roughly about, say again, 58 to about maybe 80 frames per second, depending, uh, but it ran well, ran smooth, and also much higher than the 30 frames per second I showed the first time. Sorry, again, I apologize, guys. I, uh, I, I'm glad that we're doing this again, and I'm glad we're seeing how well this actually performs uh, in that gaming process. Now, we're moving over to Call of Duty Warzone. Now, Warzone is always a funny one. Uh, benchmark numbers are actually quite similar and the same uh, in terms of just gameplay. Uh, 
fluctuating between about 56 frames per second to about 77 uh, for this, uh, but it plays well, it handles well, and even if you went back to the old footage uh, of the last review, you will see that again, you're getting those kind of numbers. Uh, and there are other games you can play on this device besides, of course, those key games I mentioned. Uh, we definitely tried out Street of Rage, which of course, you do not need to use the GTX 1660 uh, Ti to play. You can play it on the tablet itself, and it plays quite well, quite effectively, a very great experience. Also some older games like, of course, Halo, um, um, you know, Anniversary Edition, that played really well on, on the system, got a solid 60 frames per second, and that continues to be the case there as well. Um, I think overall, when it comes to gaming and performance, especially seeing this after doing it again, this is almost about a month or so, and also seeing this with better uh, software updates, uh, I would say the experience is much smoother, much better. Now, system still runs loud when you're uh, gaming, which is very typical with most laptops you're gonna be gaming, because the fans start churning and things like that. Uh, but the gameplay experience there is really solid. Now, the other things, of course, with the Surface Book 3 that you can do, uh, in terms of battery life, Microsoft is expecting about 17 hours, which you should get, um, which with uh, either watching content or streaming, not 17 hours in, you know, in one straight shot, but a good amount of time. My buddy, um, the Unlocker, basically did a video, and you can check out his video on the Surface Book 3 on that. Now, when it also comes to um, just pure functionality, you've got a wider array of functionality with this. Taking it in a tablet mode, watching a movie, uh, reading news or whatever you want to do is great. You also have a pen, which you can buy separately, which I do not like. Uh, plus, you've got probably one of the best webcams on a laptop, which uh, is something you a lot of people need right now at this point. The one thing I'll say is that it's quite a heavy uh, piece of device and also a little bit um, obnoxious in terms of design. Now, the design has been great over the years and I wish it had seen better iterations, less of that dip at the corner, um, also that hinge area in the corner, I said dip. Uh, but I would like to see that improved. Uh, I'd like to see it feel more flexible less less rigid yes it's great you can detach it yes it's great that that locks in quite well but i want to see just a jump with that design this is something i'm expecting so hopefully with the book four which i think that's probably the case we will see that design change and that design change element but again you can also uh, increase your graphics card to the rtx um, uh, 3000 uh, quattro and that gives you more capability, especially if you're into maybe graphic design and things like that on the road. That is where this actually works out quite well. I think the idea of a workstation is quite palatable for this, or somebody who is looking to do more serious working on the road. Now, as a gamer, this will handle your gaming needs quite well. And as we've seen, uh, I think it will cover the basis for you easily. Now. Thank you very much guys for checking this out. I do again apologize for the fact that I messed up my first video. I didn't give you guys a clear analysis of what this device can do. Hopefully this gives you a better idea of what the Surface Book 3 can do and also oh, what you can actually game on this device quite effectively. So if you have any questions or any comments, let me know. Uh, if I make more mistakes guys, please leave your comments. I do definitely appreciate it. Otherwise, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and Always enjoy your entertainment.